Hello guys, I'm Gian Arginal. Welcome to my channel and I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing to you my extreme craft room makeover on a budget. Some of you are probably wondering, Gian, why are you organizing your craft room on this holiday season? You must showing us how to wrap a present or anything that is Christmas stuff related. But in this case, guys, I'm sorry because I can't. And the reason for that is my craft room, guys, is actually here located at our living room. So I must need to organize organize, tidy up, gather together all of my craft supplies first before I can decorate on this Christmas. And honestly guys, the pressure is on because up until now, I haven't even touched any Christmas decors out of our storage. So please be patient with me guys. I'm so sorry, but this is just how my brain works. But don't you worry guys, because for today's video, this is going to be a fun one because I'm going to show to you all of the items that I bought to organize all of my crafts. I'm also going to be creating some easy and aesthetic DIY that for sure will going to help you organize all of your crafts. And then I'm going to show to you how I put everything together. And after all of that, I'm going to reveal to you the final look of our craft room makeover. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decors. And also follow me on my Instagram account at GNRGNL. And with that being said, guys, let's just jump into our makeover. So guys, I think before everything else, before all of the crazy things going to happen, I think I must need to show to you first the current situation here in my craft room, what it was looking like. So are you ready, guys? Let's go. So here it is, guys. So actually, I have three main areas here onto my living room where I do all of my DIYs. And let's just call this the shelf number one. And as you can see guys, everything is just stuck on each other. So you can see all of the yarns right there and all of the supplies right there. Mostly it is in a plastic bag, which I really don't like. And I don't know, it is basically very random and there's really no system on this. And it's honestly so hard to explain what's happening because it is really such a total mess. But anyways, this is what our shelf number one is looking like. So now that you see our shelf number one, let's go ahead and go to our shelf number two. So here at our shelf number two, this is actually, you can see more of a nicer supplies. This is a little bit more better than our shelf number one. But for sure, after the makeover, both of them will be looking so great. But anyway, the bottom section here is just again a whole lot of randomness and hopefully things will get better as I start with this. But anyway, this is our second shelf. So next is I'm going to show to you my working desk. So here at my working desk, guys, this is actually just a long piece of plywood that I bracketed on the wall. And there's a mirror on the center just for accent purposes. And what I want on this desk, guys, is I just want this to be clean. Because as you can see now, there's a whole pile of stuff that's going here on the top of my desk. So now that I exposed to you the mess, I think it's time to organize. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But the pressure is on. But anyway, let's go. I'm going to show to you all of the items that I bought that I think will going to help my craft room to be organized. So the first one that I'm going to show to you is this organizational three layered cart. This is very inexpensive guys and I bought it online. And I'm going to use it as a storage for my always used items like my pens, brushes, and scissors, and all sorts of stuff. Next guys is this three pieces of basket that I bought on Novo for about $2 each. And I know that you can find a more cheaper deal if you just search online. But as I see this basket, I just can't pass it up so I bought it. And I also have this polka dot basket and it's way more cheaper than the other one but it's on a color blue. So I think my plan on this is I'm going to paint this black later. And also guys, this green basket as well. I have this plastic storage for quite a long time. So this is going to be painted as well. And I bought this assortment of basket guys, which is on the color nude. And I really love the color and its size because I think this is going to look perfect on my shelf. So I'm going to use this as well. So I think the next step guys is we should paint our baskets black. So I'm going to spray paint this using this Bosni matte black color. So that's all guys and we should go and paint our baskets. So 
so hello everyone you guys now i have finished painted all of my basket black and i just really love how they turned out guys i think i just need to set them aside first because it needs a little bit more time to dry but anyway guys a little update to what's happening to the progress of our makeover i have already transferred all of my crafts right behind me guys this is actually guys the shelf number two right behind me and it's already empty because guys i am thinking that maybe i could possibly compress all of the stuff right here on my shelf number two there at my shelf number one so that i can decorate this shelf number two for the holidays and another thing guys wait so do you remember this storage diy that i've created on my last video guys i created a dozen of these and just like what's on the plan this is going to be included at our organization as well but i have some few changes that i'm going to make originally guys this storage box surface is a chalkboard basically and you can write down what's the content on this box using just a ordinary chalk and it serves as the design and that's originally the plan for this box at first guys i really like it but as days goes by guys i honestly not kind of liking it anymore it's kind of messy and it looks very childish i could say but don't get me wrong guys this concept is still very cool but it is just not the vibe that i wanted on my craft room to be so as a remedy guys i decided not to write any chalkboard calligraphy on this box so i can get away with the preschool look and another thing guys i found out that when you turn this box on the other way around i mean the handle is facing towards you and i'm kind of liking that much better and i think it is more suitable to my design and it also gives this box more of a interest i could say and also guys by doing that i also compress my shelf space a little bit more that gives me some space and opportunity to put some supplies or some decor so anyway guys now that i have updated you onto the progress now is the time to create some diy storage organization ideas that will also going to be included here on this makeover so come on guys and let's go so our first diy guys is very simple i'm just going to wrap this can with a scrap of textured wallpaper that I have on my stash to create a large storage jar perfect to store all of my ruler and long brushes and it's very easy to create guys so what I did is I just put some hot glue onto the first edge of my wallpaper and after that guys I just wrap it all the way around and then I just give a little bit of overlap before I cut and then I just went ahead and hot glue it shut and lastly guys I just fold the excess materials inside onto our jar and secure it with some hot glue and we are done with our first DIY project. This jar guys is perfect to store all of your rulers and long brushes just like what I'm going to do on mine. When you are organizing you can really cannot have enough storage. So for our second DIY I'm going to show to you another trick to decorate your cardboard boxes and this is with wrapping paper. So you can buy wrapping paper on your local stationery supply stores or you can also print it online. Mine is online guys and honestly I just find it on Pinterest and I just print it multiple times onto this regular office paper and this trick just works for me. You can choose all sorts of design and pattern and personally I'm liking this woven rattan look because I think my shelf is lacking with this natural texture so I'm going for this. So there is no right or wrong way to unwrapping your box. Probably there's a more better way on wrapping this box than honestly how I'm doing this. But it's a very nice idea to add some color and a nice sense of cohesiveness onto your storage. This will also going to hide all of your unnecessary stuff. Cause you can store all of your small bits and pieces here inside to minimize what they call the visual clutter. And decorative boxes is a really great way to store and organize all of your stuff. I also tried this almost like a woven geometric kind of a weave and I really love how it looks. And once it was done you can store all of your stuff here and I really love how all of my boxes turned out. For our third organization idea, when organizing you can also use unconventional materials to use as organization like this plastic pot. And I'm going to use this to store all of my small brushes. Because I think this will going to look good and for sure this will going to add a very nice quirky element to my organization. So to do this is I'm going to block the bottom hole onto the pot with some cardboard and some hot glue just like shown. And then after that guys I just cut two sorts of a squarish shaped trapezoid that is on the same size of our pot silhouette. I hope it makes sense. But anyway you can adjust it as you go. 
and then I just cut two slits onto each sides and create this cross shape. And then I just went ahead and put it inside on our pot. I just secured it with some hot glue and we are done. You can now store all of your small brushes inside and I really love how it turned out. For our fourth DIY guys is another way to reuse tin cans. So I have four of these small tin cans that I have been keeping for quite a while and I'm just simply wrapping it with these printables that I choose. I choose the Rassel guys because I think it looks trendy and the color really coordinates with the color pad that is going onto my shelf. And I'm going to use this as an extra organization for my pens and pencils. And that's pretty much it guys. I really love how this turned out and it's also a very great way to add a pop of color onto your organization. For our fifth DIY guys, it also involves tin can and this is probably the most easiest among the bunch. So I just used the sticker that I found online and added some labels onto this tin can to elevate how it looks. I just make sure that my tin can is clean and keeping on the team, I just use black. But feel free to choose any kind of label you want and you can also paint the can if you wanted to. And that really finished off this very easy project. So now that we are done with our DIYs, it's time to organize. So starting here guys onto our card. Onto the top guys, I decided to place here all of my paints. I also going to remove all of them onto the box so it will give me a more quicker access. I'm also going to place here this jar that we DIY'd. And I'm also going to place here this ruler and long brush jar. I'm also going to put here three of my scissors that I always use. My pens and pencil that I always use onto my project my painting palette, this L ruler, and basically everything that I need to have a quick access to will be placed here onto the top. Onto the middle section guys, I'm going to place here three of my hot glues and I'm going to put it here onto this tray. And the space on the other side guys will be also filled with all of my spray paints, my larger acrylic paints, because I really wanted all of my paint to be corralled onto this card so it will be very easy to me to get any color that I want for my projects. And lastly to the bottom section, this is going to be dedicated for my laptop. So I just going to place it here and we are finished with our card. So we're here now onto my desk and I just clear up all of my surfaces and give this a good wipe. There's really nothing I can do on this desk and I'm really happy on how it looks. I need this desk to be clear at any time and always ready for any project that I'm going to do. So now that our desk is clean, let's jump now onto our shelves. So guys, when you're trying to organize your supplies, the tip that I can share is you can use your nicer and aesthetic supplies as decor as well. So for example, this is pool of macrame that I have in this large jute wine. Instead of storing them unseen, I decided to display them to create a more nicer statement. So I just placed them sparingly onto our shelves to give them their own moment to shine. For a more uniform look, I would advise to buy wholesale baskets that has the same color and texture and place them onto the bottom part of your shelves. This will give your craft room a sophisticated and very organized look. Tip number 3 is you can use your decorative boxes and place them randomly onto your shelves to create a more visual interest. Tip number 4 is you can also add some art and picture frames. This is a nice idea to decorate your shelves. This will going to add a more dimension and a little bit of statement onto your shelves. Tip number 5 guys, I think it's very crucial to add the element of plant onto your organization. I would suggest to add faux plants cause you don't like to introduce moisture to your supplies. And a great hack guys that I can share to you is you can also use a planter as a storage. For example guys, I use this planter to store some of my random not oftenly used items just like this cord and this battery inside and cover it up with a plant on top. And just like that, no one will know that you have some supplies inside your plant. I also wanted to show to you some of my existing storage that also going to stay here onto my craft room. One of them is this long metal trunk. I guess this is what it's called. I use this to store all of my basic handyman tools. 
just like my screwdrivers and my pliers. It has a transparent acrylic on the top which is nice because you can see all of your tools inside. And I'm going to include this also onto my shelves. Next guys is this tall black attache case. I think this is also a trunk. I don't know what it's called but, but anyway guys this is a very common type of container. I have this for such a long time and I'm also going to use this to store all of my other tools as well. I'm sorry I can't open it truly because it's quite heavy guys and I think I might just drop it. But this container guys will also be included here onto our shelves. I'm also going to use this local product of our country which is the Bayong. This is basically a flimsy kind of basket used for picking up groceries that is used way back before. But now here in our country, we are using it more of a decorative piece used for souvenirs on weddings. But I'm going to utilize this to store some of my stash fabrics and all of my leather swatches. And that's what I'm going to put here. Now that I've showed to you all of my existing storage, it's time to put everything together and at the end, we're going to see the final look. Alright guys, now I am officially done with this craft room makeover and in front of me guys is the finished product of this makeover and it's about time to show to you the amazing transformation that's happened to my craft room. But before the big reveal guys, I think we need to take a look back first on what it looks like before. Before guys, all of the supplies are filed up on each other and it's really lacking with storage, system and style. So now that you see the before, Let's go now and see the after. There you go guys, I hope that you like this transformation that happens to my craft room. I still can't believe that for just basically using these things that I have already, I was able to create this very drastic transformation on this space. And I hope that you get something on this makeover that will make you inspired and get motivated to organize your craft room or your home office or anywhere in your house as well. And if you want to see more DIY home decors and room makeover, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I have a new uploaded video coming. And also follow me on my Instagram account at GNRGNL. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.